Rafael Nadal extended his record in the elite group of the rankings on Monday. Rafael Nadal has made history once again as the Spaniard started his 900th consecutive week in the world's top 10 on Monday. Currently sitting at number 2 in the world, he first broke into the top 10 as a teenager on April 25, 2005 and has not left the elite group of the rankings since. It also allows him to widen his gap over Novak Djokovic for most non-consecutive weeks spent in the top 10 as he chases Roger Federer's record. Nadal is beginning his 900th week inside the world's top 10 after ending the season as the world number 2 following a year that saw him win two Grand Slam titles, making him the men's singles record holder with 22 majors to his name overall. The 36-year-old has a huge lead in the record for most consecutive weeks in the top 10, and continues to widen the gap between himself and Djokovic. The serve is sixth in the most consecutive weeks in the top 10 with 555 in total. As he entered the top group of the rankings in March 2007 and dropped out in October 2017 after ending his season at Wimbledon that year through injury. He also holds 765 total non-consecutive weeks in the top 10, 373 of which have been spent at number one in the world, an ATP record. Meanwhile, Federer holds 619 consecutive weeks in the top 10 but pips Nadal with his overall weeks at 968. But the Spaniard holds another record for the most weeks at number 2 in the world and also extended his streak on Monday, starting his 382nd week in the second spot. Despite his impressive streak in the world's top 10, Nadal recently admitted that the records and go debate take a backseat in his mind when he envisions his legacy in the sport after he eventually retires. I don't think about it. I think it's something that takes a backseat. He said during his South America exhibition tour last month. The important legacy is that all the people I have met during these 20 years of my career have a good human memory of me. At the end of the day, the personal issue, education, respect and the affection with which you can treat people comes before the professional issue, because that is what remains with time. 